Hey everybody, it's Tia to show you today is Wednesday, March the 23rd, 2022. It is 2.36 p.m. This is the 40-day prosperity plan demonstration brought to you by Sayla Leadership Academy for Creative and Intuitive Studies, LLC, an educational component of Tia to show you, LLC. This video presentation is brought to you by the abundance book by john randolph price it is not to it is not intended to serve as a substitute but rather a supplement to the book you are highly encouraged to purchase the book and then come back to these video series to supplement what you have read our agenda is the protection prayer meditation, prosperity checklist, statement of principle, gratitude, and resources. Here's our protection prayer by James Freeman. The light of God surrounds me. The love of God enfolds me. The power of God protects me. The presence of God watches over me. The mind of God guides me. The life of God flows through me. The laws of God direct me. The power of God abides within me. The joy of God uplifts me. The strength of God renews me. The beauty of God inspires me. Wherever I am, God is. Let it be as it was said and written unto you and me. It is done, I say, and amen. The meditation, let's take three inhales three exhales before we begin our meditation breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out one more time breathe in Last time, breathe out. What do I know of God? God is life. Life is omnipresent. All is alive. I see this in the wonders of nature. I see this in myself. I am alive because I am life. My life is God's life. My life is God. I feel my livingness within me. I feel God. My awareness of God is growing. God is love. I feel love in my heart and know that this is the very spirit of God flowing through my feeling nature. I cannot love without God. I love, therefore, I am one with God. My understanding of God is growing. God is wisdom and intelligence. God is mind, and I sense the infinite knowingness of that mind within me. I think, I know, and that with which I think and know is God's mind and expression. My knowledge of God is growing. Where is God? God is where I am. God is what I am. I am an individualization of God and the spirit of God dwells within me as me. I am the light of the world. I turn within to the light and say, thou art the Christ, the spirit of the living God. You are my spirit, my soul, my body. When I look at thee, I see me. And I listen in the silence for the acknowledgement from within. I am now conscious of God, of my Christ self. I am the Christ of God, the truth of God, the self of God. Through this consciousness of the reality of me, I open the door to spirit. I draw into my mind and feeling nature the wholeness of spirit, the allness of God, and my consciousness is filled with the light of truth. I now know that there is nothing that I could truly desire that is not at this very moment standing at the door of my consciousness, ready to appear in my life and affairs. I have only to be conscious of this truth in every need is met, every problem solved, every question answered, my consciousness of God within is all I will ever need for all eternity. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. 
Here is our prosperity checklist. Is my primary interest in realizing the presence of God or is it in meeting a financial problem? Am I still concentrating on the effect money or am I focusing my attention on cause spirit? Am I willing to take my stand now and prove God once and for all as my all sufficiency? Have I devoted the necessary time to meditating on the spirit within as the source of my prosperity? Am I conscious of the inner presence as my abundance? Do I have the understanding that my consciousness of the presence is my supply? Am I trying to demonstrate money or develop a greater consciousness of abundance? Have I accepted the truth that the living presence within me is my all sufficiency and that the activity of this infinite mind is meeting my every need at this moment? Have I identified myself with my all-sufficient self so that I can say with great conviction, I am abundant? Knowing that my consciousness of the indwelling presence is my supply, can I now affirm and believe the truth that I have abundance? Can I see myself fulfill and enjoy lavish abundance in my life and affairs? Have I truly expressed a feeling of love for the vision of wholeness and completeness that I see in my visualizations? Do I intuitively feel that the spirit has manifest as my all sufficiency, even though the results may still be invisible? Have I spoken the word it is done? Have I totally surrendered all my needs, desires, fears, and concerns to the presence within? Have I expressed a deep sense of gratitude to the spirit within before my good comes forth into visible manifestation? Is my heart overflowing with thankfulness and joy the majority of my waking hours? Am I listening to the voice within for guidance and instructions regarding any actions that I am to take in the outer world? Am I following, am I following thought with that action? Have I truly or have I totally forgiven everyone and everything in my consciousness? Am I practicing unconditional love with everyone in my life? Have I maintained a state of secrecy regarding the use of spiritual principles in the demonstration of my supply? Knowing the reality within all and the truth about all, can I see everyone on this planet as abundantly supplied with every good thing, regardless of appearances? Do I desire for everyone else that which I desire for myself? Am I a joyful giver? Do I freely share my money on a regular basis, knowing that as I give, so shall I receive, press down, and run it over? Have I done all that I can do to improve my relationship with my children? In my personal relationship with my mate or love partner, do I care more about his or her feelings and welfare than I do my own? Am I working to overcome any problems related to my sex life? Am I involved in a meaningful activity for creative self-expression? Am I working on my life plan to see myself as whole and complete in every area of my life? The more questions you have answered, yes, the richer you are in mind and manifestation. Statement of Principle, Day 12. I lift up my mind and heart to be aware, to understand, and to know that the divine presence I am is the source and substance of all my good. I would like to say this morning I woke up and this is for someone you know that you're abundant one way, one way to know that you are abundant or to be aware of your abundance, your all-sufficient supply, your infinite abundance, is when people always come to you when they want something, when they need something. Yes, it may be irritating. Yes, it is a, a sign that the relationship that you're in is imbalanced, that you're dealing with more than likely you're dealing with a user, you're dealing with someone who takes more than they give, uh, someone who only comes around when they want something, but 
look at it in a positive way. Pivot, pivot that experience to something positive. And this will help you be aware, to lift up your mind and heart, to be aware and to know that the divine presence is the source and substance of all your good. That pe when people are always coming to you when they need something, that means that they see, are aware, or cognizant of the divine presence within you. They see something in you where they understand that I know if I need something, such and such will always be there for me and give me what I need. Notice I said always. So they see the never ending infinite supply in you when they're always coming to you uh, because they need something. And that thought came to me this morning. Like that is one way that uh, you can see the abundance in your life. Now, obviously you don't let the person use you, but that lets you know that you are abundant regardless of how you may see yourself how regardless of how you may see the situation that if you are the or if, if you are the go-to person if any if people need something they know to always call you because you will supply that need that lets you know that you are expressing the infinite abundance of the God within you. So that's something to think about and that's something to lift up your mind and heart to be aware of. So statement of principle, day 12, I lift up my mind and heart to be aware, to understand, and to know that the divine presence I am is the source and substance of all my good. It's no other source of substance except for the divine presence within me. That's it. Every, however that is expressed in this 3D realm, it is because someone else is allowing God to be individualized through them. So I know I'm aware, I'm cognizant of the fact that the, the divine presence I am that's in me is the source and substance of all my good. If it's not good, then, then the divine presence I am is not the source of that. And I have to do further invest, investigation to see what's the source of that. But all of my good, the source of it is, is God within me, expressing it, itself as me. And any other way that my good is expressed on this third dimensional realm is because someone else, whether they consciously know it or not, have, has made the decision to express themselves as abundant. To express themselves as the God within them. So when a person, place, thing, event, condition, organization decides to express the abundance within them, then that's how your good is manifested in the third dimensional realm. That's why it's so important that people understand who their source is so that they can start expressing that so more people can see evidence of God individualized as themselves. So any good that manifests in your life, whatever form it may take in the third dimensional realm, is because someone decided that they were going to express 
the infinite I am presence within them. So if your good entails you having a new car, well, guess what? In order for you to have that new car, for that to be fulfilled on this third dimensional realm, somebody had to believe in the divine presence within themselves to create a car dealership or to even design and create the car that you want. You see how we're all interconnected? We are all interconnected. The more of us that believe that the divine presence within us is our source and our substance of all our good and that it, it desires to express itself as through us, the more of us can stop depending on rely on uh, putting our faith and trust in the effect, which is money, and start focusing on the cause. So once again, statement of principle day 12, I lift up my mind and heart to be aware, to understand, and to know that the divine presence I am is the source and substance of all my good. Be grateful that there are people out here who, like I said, whether they consciously know it or not, whether they consciously uh, give credit to it or not, be thankful for the people who believe in the divine unlimited abundance within them to go out and to pursue their dreams. The ones who wanted to build cars or those who wanted you know, to build the airplane or whatever it is. Because those people trusted in the source within, you are able to experience your good. Because they did not rely on and trust on the effect, which is money, but they trusted and relied on the cause, which is spirit, that's the reason why you can want a new car. That's the reason why you can want to go travel. That's the reason why you can't want those new shoes. That's the reason why uh, you can buy that new house. Because somebody said, I'm not going to trust and rely on the, on the effect, buddy. I'm going to trust and rely on the cause which is spirit, the all infinite abundance within me. So gratitude, so thankful, so thankful, so thankful that you've allowed Selah Leadership Academy for creative and intuitive studies to assist you in your transformation. I do not take this lightly. We have been together for really more than 12 days because I started this way before we actually got into the 40-day prosperity plan uh, treatment or demonstration. But so thankful that we are enjoy enjoying this journey together and we're growing together. Our resources, if you would like to utilize any of my services, you may go to my website at tdshay.com. You can download my app, Mirror Moments app, on iOS and Android, where I talk about all these metaphysical, spiritual, hoodoo, uh, all of that great stuff. And I give you tips and strategies about how you can apply alchemy and hoodoo and metaphysics to your everyday life and transform your everyday life. I take the stigma, the stigmatism, the, <laughs> the stigmatism uh off of who do off of uh alchemy candles herbs divination i take the stigma off of that and i show you how you can do that in your everyday life and produce re results and uh udemy 
I am an, an instructor on Udemy under Reverend Deandra Everhart. You can take courses with me on Udemy. If you're interested in learning more about candle alchemy, how to clear your space energetically, how to clear your home energetically, how to protect your home energetically using uh, the different elements, air, fire, water, earth. I teach you how to raise your buddy vibration uh, by creating like buddy bowls, uh, body washes, things like that. So if you if you're interested in any of those things, I have two courses on Udemy under Reverend Deandra Everhart, and you can purchase my books on Amazon under Tia Deshay. Until tomorrow, be blessed.